Hey there folks, Jeff Blubin with Practically Tactical and I'm here once again with Will Petty of Center Future Training. And um, so I had an opportunity to shoot this this really, really slick Triarch uh, work gun. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep. and um, I wanted to get some more info and we're like, shit, we may as well film this and put it out there so people can get a little bit more information about this here rifle. Yeah, so this is the Centrifuge uh, work gun through Triarch Systems and uh, Chris has been wrenching on my guns for and ever, uh, builds a great stick. Um, and this is more or less just spec spec'd out to what we need, right? So um, I'm on the range 210 days out of the year in in this, right? So I need a gun that's going to perform on demand every time, um, and that is well thought out in in um, you know in all the accessories, right? So obviously Magpul furniture on everything. We've got the Geisley uh, Mark 13 rail, which is just a it's just a great rail. I've had some of the uh, other brands start to um, either bend or uh, warp a little bit as we start to perform some of the injured shooter drills that we saw. Like, I mean, obviously I'm putting body pressure into the gun, into the car. Um, so the Mark 13 rail is just a, it's just a stud of a rail. Uh, track 2, a track 2.0 uh, 2 barrel in this thing. This thing's just accurate, right? Obviously uh, a surefire uh, break on there. Um, comes with the, with the, um, the, uh, fixed irons right and guys are like well well why and i'm like because i want it to be out of the box ready to to do exactly what it's what it's called that it, that it is right so to work um but the more important stuff is is really this mp3 coated bolts and guys are like ah that's just bling but the reality is, is i can run thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds through this uh bolt carrier group wipe it down throw it back in the gun and keep on running i mean this this really negates all of the need for the, that tedious scrubbing and scraping and uh, stuff that I just I don't have I don't have time for on the range. And you said that you've got right now about eight eight thousand. Yeah, rounds. I haven't cleaned this I haven't cleaned this gun in about eight thousand rounds. Um, so this is uh, this is pretty common um, as far as um, as far as uh, build up, you know, and sludge and everything else. So runs great, um, does everything it needs it needs to do. It's got um, it's got all the enhanced springs right in the buffer tube and in the actual bulk carrier group as well. So making it reliable. Um, when we start looking at uh, the actual controls on it, you'll notice that all the stuff is ambi, right? So everyone's like, ah, I don't really need an ambi stuff. And um, maybe, maybe true, right? But I find that for me, it helps. So the ambi charging handle, this is uh, by, um, uh, this is the Raptor by Radian. And uh, uh, it's just a, a workhorse of a charging handle. Obviously we talked about in the video that we just did about right. some of the pros and cons to having, you know, an ambi charging handle versus over a mil spec. So there's, there's additional steps that go into not having an ambi charging handle. Ambi safeties, I feel is important if I'm gonna run the gun right-handed or left-handed. Um, obviously it comes with a Geisley trigger and then uh, oversized bolt catches, which are important as we start to try to thumb that uh, bolt carrier group open or use a mag or whatever whatever technique. For the injured shooter stuff. Yeah, for the injured shooter, stuff, yeah, right? the injured shooter stuff, right? Not, not necessarily a, a, a do or die if I'm uh, running the gun and it's 68 degrees and not rainy and everything's great and I've got both my hands but this gun is really set up to uh, perform ideal in very less than ideal conditions. Mm -hmm. It comes with our uh, centrifuge sling so we'll, we'll, we'll show how that uh, sets up and why you know why that's an add-on or why that's included into the rifle but um, um, very for what it is I, I feel it's very reasonably priced mm -hmm. very affordable um, and all of that information can be found on the Triarch Systems website. So you'll find links down below for all this information, uh, you know, not only Will and his training company, but also uh, the Centrifuge uh, work rifle by Triarch Systems. But a couple questions before we get into the sling, because I know that's that's um, something that you designed. Uh, so with the iron sights as is, when they're, they're fixed right now, mm -hmm. and you're obviously running it like that, is that your preference over having, um, you know, flip-ups, and, and having to manually flip them up in the case in the event that the uh, optic goes down. Yeah, it, it is mine. Um, I know everyone uh, doesn't necessarily prefer that, but for me, uh, this is a this is a lower one third co witness uh, setup. Um, if you run it enough, I don't even notice that the irons are there anymore. Right. And when we start putting out, I mean, think about it. Why are the irons there? They're there to save your ass, right? In the event that you have a catastrophic uh, optic failure, battery goes out, whatever, right? So. Um, for me, you know, when we start taking a look at the time that it takes to flip irons up versus just lower the cheek into uh, the rear peep and then get on the front sight, 
um, I, for me is a no-brainer. It doesn't occlude my vision, um, but some people find it uh, obstructive. The whole goal is, though, you know, the, the setup as is, is to pull out of the box. There's a lot of departments, actually, that require fixed iron. So, mm. you know, this is really designed with, um, uh, with the LE officer in mind, right? And the other thing that I noted is that your ambidextrous safety, which I believe was at the Axis or something. Yeah, that's the Radian, uh, Radian, Radian, uh, Radian. Ambi safety as well. Uh, one of the biggest things that I, that I really, really like, and I, I didn't think anything of it until I started running one, mm -hmm. but is a 45 degree throw lever on that safety. It's just like so much more easier on and off. Mm -hmm. The amount of just thumb articulation that you have to do or index articulation, uh, you know, depending if you're resafing it with your index finger or whatever, like if you've got a, a traditional 90, the 45 is just awesome. So I'm a huge proponent of those too. Yeah, it I just think makes sense when you start running. I like it. I think uh, it's one of those things that people like to split hairs over, right? It's like the whole Chevy and Ford thing. I mean, what, I mean, I tell guys like, hey, we'll run the safety that you want, right? right. For me, uh, this is a 45 throw um, and is the, the Radian uh, Ambient. I do. I think it's. I think it's one of the best safeties out there. Yeah, that uh, that charging handle and that safety is what I have on, on my modern or one of my rifles. So tell us a little bit about the sling. Hey guys, let's talk about sling management uh, as it relates to uh, working in a compressed environment or stowing the the, car the carbine inside of a car, inside of a bag, or whatnot. It's always it's always uh, one of the more frustrating issues that we're dealing with um, because this tends to get caught on everything: steering wheels, um, headrests. It's just a uh, it's more of a pain than it needs to be. Um, people have traditionally used uh, hair ties, uh, ranger bands, rubber bands, things like that to help mitigate this from flopping around. Um, this is our take on um, on sling management, right? So we've got a traditional uh, two-point sling, um, but the patent pending part of this is that we go ahead and S-fold this sling and we'll create a, a loop or a hook right here, a loop. This loop goes into the sling management portion that we have at the back of the buttstock, and then the sling is just tightened down on itself. Once it starts to tighten down on itself, um, it actually keeps the sling nicely, nicely tucked out of the way, right? So I can still work, uh, still works safety. I can still work the charging handle. Um, the sling is, you know, not going to go anywhere. I can drive the gun, do whatever I need to, and then once I've deployed from the vehicle. Um, especially from a patrol, patrol vehicle type setting. Once I've deployed from the vehicle and I need the sling, we'll just go ahead and open that slider up, don the sling, uh, adjust the, the buttstock length, and then we should be good to go. Here's the thing with this, right? I think this is one of the best rifles out there. I love the stick. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what's in your hand, it's what you can do with it, right? So have a well thought out, well laid out rifle, right? So, you know, I need, I need a decent trigger in it. I need an ambi charging handle, ambi safety is what I'm looking for. A, you know, a longer rail that's not gonna warp as I start to push it into barricades for my injured shooter stuff. Um, and I think that the, uh, obviously accurate with the, you know, enhanced bolt carrier groups and things like that, solid magpul furniture. So for me, this this ticks off all of those boxes. Cool. Well, uh, thank you, Will, for, for coming on and talking about that really, really nice, nice rifle. And uh, you know, all of our gear, uh, absolutely must be purpose driven you know it's 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 um uh form uh, excuse me function over form for all of our stuff and i think the more forethought thought that we have into our gear and making it purpose built and designed for you know our parameters whether that be sworn law enforcement uh or you know concerned citizen whatever it is super important. So thank you very much for, for coming on and talking about that. Uh, more information again in the description box below. Go to Centrifuge Training uh, to get more information about yep. Will's outstanding classes that we <laughs> just got all muddy over. And uh, yeah, and go to Practically Tactical. And if you like the content that we're putting out, if you like having us come on here with, with uh, world-class instructors like Will, uh, please go to our Patreon page and start supporting us so that we can get more fine vehicles and shoot them. See you next time.